Dr. Titus Ongor, thank you so much for joining me uh, today. Can you uh, let our viewers know how the General Ibrahim Atahiru Foundation uh, plans to mark this weekend? Um, thank you very much. I think um, basically the foundation plans to first of all identify with the military or the armed forces in celebrating this particular day, that is to remember the fallen heroes. That is one. And then two, mobilize Nigerians to show appreciation to what the military do for this country and then for all of us in terms of protecting citizens and also protecting the, in, in the integrity and the, the country in various ways. And also appreciate the sacrifices that they make for all of us and for the country. And additionally, the foundation also plans to mobilize the dependence of veterans to provide them with livelihood support, which is which is has to do with waste to wealth initiative, so that they would have something doing that is number one, environmental friendly, and then two, put food on their table so they'll be able to sustain themselves and the children left behind. Thank you. Absolutely, you've raised some really um, important uh, points there. Now, Dr. Ongol, for those who may not know, could you just tell us what are some of the sacrifices that are made by Nigeria's armed forces? Um, well, I think um, basically, um, I may not speak, let me say, on behalf of um, the foundation on this, but as a Nigerian, that I want to say that there are a lot of sacrifices that the military, you know, make for our country. That is number one, they give up their freedom so that we will be free and live our lives free of harassment and all of that. And then two, for some of them, they, they serve the nation at the risk of their lives. And then some of them, they are in pain, others sleep in trenches, others sacrifice the comfort of their homes to, to be at the war front or at the battle front so that you and I, or Nigerians, will have peace. Thank you very much. Absolutely. I think it's a pretty widely held view that families, uh, particularly widows, are not given enough um, support. This isn't, however, a situation that's peculiar uh, to Nigeria. I'm sitting here in London. Uh, we discuss this issue greatly. I know this is also a talking point in um, America. What is uh, the foundation uh, doing to try and alleviate some of the economical and psychological trauma? I think um, basically the, the current military leadership led by the chief of defense staff and also the chief of army staff and other service chiefs that are doing their best in terms of um, supporting the dependents, that is the widows and children of um, fallen heroes. But however, for the foundation, what we are doing is number one, the mental and psychosocial support for these families so that they will be able to cope with the trauma of what they go through or what their loved ones go through. That is one. And then two, as I earlier mentioned, the waste to health and the waste to wealth initiative is also what the foundation plans or is mobilizing dependents of um, fallen heroes to benefit from. It is not just them, but it's also other less privileged groups. But however, we prioritize this particular constituency, constituency because it is the constituency of the late chief of army staff, the Lieutenant General Atahiru Ibrahim. So those are some of the two areas that um, we're not only doing it for other less privileged groups, but also prioritizing the military constituency. Thank you very much. I've got to draw you on this because one thing that uh, does appear to be peculiar to Nigeria is often the ridicule of uh, army uh, personnel. Pretty shocking, um, actually. What do you think needs to be done to raise the profile of these uh, brave young men and women who are putting their lives on the line for hundreds of millions of citizens? I think um, basically um, there needs to be an awareness, a sensitization to the public 
and this could be carried out either by the National Orientation Agency or by other non-government organizations as well as other um, organizations to to put, to help people understand what happens in the military space so that they will be appreciative of what the military do for this country because other people in other places they definitely appreciate their their military but um elsewhere it is it's not like that so when the public is sensitized about the sacrifices this veterans or seven personnel do or make for the country they'll be appreciative of what these military people are doing and what I many sacrifices that the veterans have um, made for the country so the sensitization of the public it's important and then two the mobilization of the public to support the military the veterans as well as their families thank you very much now, thank you before i let you go i've got to ask you about uh, the late General Ibrahim Atahiru, who was taken away uh, from us um, so cruelly. Uh, what legacy uh, does the uh, former Chief of Army Staff leave behind? I think um, basically he was a, a man of um, integrity, a selfless leader, and also someone who may call a philanthropist. So, it is after his demise is passing on that the foundation was established to uphold, to perpetuate the values that he represented. So that is the legacy. So whatever we do in this organization is to uphold those values in terms of fairness, in terms of empowerment, and in terms of um, leadership. Because there are a lot of young people, there are a lot of young Nigerians that aspire to be like the late Lieutenant General Atahira um, Ibrahim. So we are here to provide not just mentoring, but also capacity building for them in such a way that they will actually achieve that dream of being like the late general. And as we also carried out um, other interventions in, ver in various ways. Thank you. Dr. Titus Ongu, a program coordinator at the General Ibrahim Atahiru Foundation. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks to Channels Television.